as a youngster learning to play the accordion. My dad was my teacher. And one thing he often used to say to me was, sit up straight, Paul. You can at least look like an accordionist. And I would suggest to anybody that if you wish to enter this court of law and debate, you can at least follow certain protocols. Um, I was reminded of a film called The Big Lebowski. Although he doesn't make very many appearances, Sam Elliott certainly does. And if you ever watch the, um, the making of The Big Lebowski, when they interview the directors, they say Sam Elliott is brilliant because he's got such a big moustache it doesn't he doesn't have they don't have to worry about syncing you know synchronizing his voice to his lips because you can't see his lips because of the big bushy mustache that's the first thing i would present um secondly mike myers what a good example split nationality he is both canadian british and american and holds all three passports the name totally irrelevant my name is actually not Paul. It is the Italian equivalent of Paul. And my second name is also Italian. I choose Paul Capaldi because it's a lot easier than my original Italian name. But one of two people out there, certainly likes of Carla, we angel, she knows what my name is. Um, so I'd like to first start off by thanking you for watching this video and taking a keen interest in the plight of the defendant. An innocent American sailor being accused of a most heinous crime, that of being an 18th century British naval officer. Make no mistake, it's not the serial, but the captain himself, who is the defendant in this case. And he is being prosecuted by a force more evil than the state of Wisconsin. So please remember, Ericose has to begin by swimming upstream against the presumption of innocence. He has to prove to you that Captain Crunch is British. Now, Horatio Magellan Crunch was born on Crunch Island in the Sea of Milk, a magical place with talking trees, crazy creatures, and a whole mountain called Mount Crunchmore. In the adverts and the cartoon series, Captain Crunch, Dawes Butler was the voice of Crunch. Um, the serial itself I had never heard of before, and certainly the character. So when, as I say, Captain Crunch was accused of that most awful crime, I did a little bit of research. Dawes Butler is a very familiar American who has done loads of voiceovers. He is the voice of Wally Gator. Elroy Jetson, Yogi Bear, Crick Draw McGraw, Snagglepuss, Spike the Bulldog, and Huckleberry Hound. All great American icons. Now, I would also like to point out that not only does Eric Hosey have to prove to you that Captain Crunch is British, because he is the accuser, Captain Crunch is the defendant here. The prosecution have no credibility whatsoever. Even worse than Ken Kratz and Tom Fallon and Norm Garn. He has zero geographical skills. I asked him once what a World Series was. He replied, it's a baseball series. It's, it's the baseball series, and it's American. And throughout the world, there are loads of other genuine world series. 
baseball, poker, darts, yacht, yachting, rugby. As I say, his case completely lacks credibility. Members of the jury, I hope you do the right thing and completely clear Captain Crunch of this terrible accusation. Thank you. Bye for now.